do subscribe to Ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering, HSC and IIT JE main and advanced videos. So friends, this is a numerical which is based on the law of chemical combination. So let us see what does the numerical is asking about. So as mentioned on your screen, it is that we have to calculate the volume of oxygen required for complete combustion of 0.25 dm cube and in this case 0.25 dm cube means 0.25 liter of methane at STP. In this case the STP means standard temperature and pressure. So in gay lucite law we have also studied that the all the temperature and pressure should be maintained in a constant values. So therefore this is nothing but a law which is based on gay lucite law. So let us see that what is the question that they are being asking about. So I could write it as if they are asking that if for complete comb comb combustion of methane that means I want to react methane with oxygen molecules. So it is very important for us to understand that what would be the chemical reaction because there is no chemical reaction that has been mentioned. So let us see what would be the chemical reaction. So they are asking about when methane is combusted in presence of oxygen. So CH4 is nothing but the methane itself and methane is present in a gaseous state. So it is undergoing combustion means it is reacting with oxygen. So as to give a particular product. But it is also known that when methane reacts with oxygen and we are combusting it then carbon dioxide and water molecules are being liberated. So in this case if I do a reaction with oxygen with uh, methane then the product that I could get is CO2 and H2. The both are present in gaseous state. But the oxygen is not balanced here. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to balance the overall reaction. So for that thing as I can see that the carbon which is present in the reactant side is of one mole while that of in product side is, is also one mole. But oxygen which is being used uh, as a reactant now in this case is one mole of oxygen molecule but I could see that there are three atoms of oxygen in the product side. So therefore what I am going to do is I am going to balance it and now what we have we have four atoms of oxygen on the reactant side as well as we have now four atoms of oxygen on the right hand side. So let us see whether the hydrogen is being balanced or not. In the reactant side as we can see there are four atoms of hydrogen while in that of the product side also there is four atoms of hydrogen. So basically we have balanced the reaction and the one skill that we have learned here now is we should know how to write a chemical reaction. So by as they have given in words so it is our duty to understand that what would be the chemical reaction. So now let us move further. So as we know that all the substances are present in a gaseous state so I could write it as this methane is present in one volume while that of the oxygen is present in two volumes while that of this carbon dioxide is again present in one volume while that of the uh, H2O molecules that is water vapor is again present in two volumes. So the main question of us was when 0.25 dm cube of methane was reacted with oxygen. So let me tell you if one mole or if one volume of methane in this case requires two volumes of oxygen. So I could write it as when one volume of methane will require two volume of that is oxygen molecules. So that the volume that they have been provided to us is 0.25 dm cube of methane. So I could write it as 0.25 dm cube of methane will require suppose in this case we don't know so I could write it as x dm cube of O2 that is oxygen molecules. So since it is present in a gaseous state I could estimate that the one liter of uh, methane is reacted with 2 liter of oxygen so as to provide us uh, 1 volume of CO2 and 2 volume that is 2 dm cube of water molecules. 
So what if I do a cross multiplication so as to estimate what would be the oxygen required in the overall combustion of the reaction. So therefore it is a very simple process that is I will cross multiply it x will be equals to 2 into 0 0.25 divided by 1. So the answer that I could get is now 0 0.50. So I could write in a very clear statement that 0 0.50 dm cube of oxygen molecule is required for the combustion of zero point two five dm cube of methane that they have provided to us. So this is the overall answer that we have got. So based on the law of chemical combina uh, combination, we have estimated that how much amount of oxygen is been required to a particular amount of methane. So this kind of numerics we will do in further also. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have liked this video. And yes, please share this video with your friends. And yes, don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.